Hi everyone, welcome to the walk. This is our second session of Rooted called Grow Deep. Last week we talked about being firmly planted by starting with the seeds of salvation. As we discussed, being saved does not mean going to heaven. Salvation means being rescued or set free here on earth from the power and effects of sin and things that keep you distant from God. Salvation is giving your life to God and trusting in his love and care. In today's session, Grow Deep, we will discuss a strong root system. Trees generally have a few roots that grow vertically down into the soil that seek moisture to sustain the tree in times of drought and to find nutrients. These roots are anchors for the trees in times of heavy winds and storms. Our spiritual roots grow deep and healthy and tap into God's nutrients and grow steady and strong in times of storms and difficulties, the same as a tree. There are many things we can do to grow strong spiritual roots. In today's session, we will focus on three, God's love, God's word, and our relationships with other followers of Jesus. Pause the video and read Ephesians 3, 16 through 17. Welcome back. God's word is one thing that keeps us standing strong when, when hard things happen around us. And knowing that God loves us, period, no doubt about it, and trusting that God will never stop loving us no matter what. The Bible was written over 2,000 years ago and preserved so that we too can know and feel how deep God's love is for us. Paul was a Pharisee who was mandated by the high priest to seek out, arrest, and persecute followers of Jesus. But one day while walking to Damascus to do just that, Paul had a conversion experience and became an apostle. This all happened after Jesus' crucifixion. So he didn't even personally meet Jesus and writes the book of Romans. In 8 verses 38 through 39, Paul writes, for I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, angels or demons, neither our fears for today or our worries for tomorrow. Nothing in all of creation will separate us from God's love. Think about that. Paul had killed followers of Jesus, and yet he was convinced without a shadow of doubt that God loved him. Sometimes there will be things of this world that will lie to you and tell you that God will stop loving you if you fill in the blank. But John, a disciple, writes, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. By reading and memorizing these scriptures of God's word and his love for us, your spiritual roots and deep belief system will grow deep and strong. Growing in relationship and spending time with other followers of Jesus, like we do at Twigs, is one of the most important ways to nourish and grow deep spiritual roots. The author is unknown of the book of Hebrews, but he or she writes in chapter 10, verses 24 through 25, let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another. Let's continue to grow deep roots in God's love and his word and in relationship with others. May God bless and keep you in his love as you continue your walk with Jesus. Love and miss you all.